What is sumo? Sumo is a traditional form of wrestling that has been Japan's national sport for many centuries. Its roots may be traced all the way back to the Yayoi period, 300 BCE to 300 CE, and due to the rites and traditions associated with the sport, Shinto has been a significant influence on its development. The activity is revered as being so special. In fact, the pavilion where sumo matches are held is regarded as a Shinto shrine. The History of Sumo The exact beginnings of the sumo sport have been lost to the passage of time, although it is believed that the first sumo matches took place in the Yayoi era. Sumo wrestlers have been described in the past as calling up or engaging in fights with kami, spirits, as part of Shinto rites. Even in Japanese mythical history, Sumo is described in a 712 CE text known as the Kojiki. This book describes how the gods of thunder, Takemi Kazuchi, and water, Godei, engaged in a wrestling bout to determine who would own the Japanese islands, Takemi Nakata. The Original Sumos The Neon Shoki text from 720 CE has the earliest account of a sumo wrestling contest between gods that wasn't heavenly. It states that the first known sumo match took place in the year 23 BCE between Nomi no Sukun and Tama no Kuya at Emperor Sunan's request. The winner of this death-defying wrestling fight was Nomi no Sukun. Nomi no Sukun was afterwards acknowledged as the founder of all sumo. Sumo wrestling was not governed until the Middle Ages, and matches frequently ended with one fighter being killed. These bouts spread across the Japanese emperor's courts as a popular form of entertainment. In order to amuse a Korean guest, several bouts were staged in 642 CE at the court of Empress Kajiaku. The Medieval Era Sumo's significance as a form of royal entertainment diminished in the 10th and 11th centuries with the fall of the emperor's absolute power in Japan. Sumo was used to train samurai for hand-to-hand -hand fighting during the Kamakura era, 1180 CE to 1330 CE. The mystical and spiritual aspects of sumo received far less attention at this time. Sumo had gained popularity across all social classes in Japan by the 1330s. Rich landowners, daimyo, began to frequently finance sumo fighters. Sumos who were successful in winning a daimyo's favor may receive lavish gifts and perhaps achieve samurai rank. Odin Nobunaga, an extraordinarily powerful landowner and feudal lord, was a devoted sumo enthusiast. He hosted a tournament in 1578 with 1,500 wrestlers from all across Japan. The competition champion reportedly started dancing to the tune to express his thanks after receiving a bow for winning. The Era of Edo Sumo had become such a popular sport by the end of the Middle Ages that savage brawls frequently broke out on the streets of cities and towns. Sumo was temporarily outlawed within city limits during the Edo era, 1603 CE to 1867 CE, as a response to this. The exception to this rule was holding sumo tournaments within Shinto temples for charitable purposes. The relationship between sumo and the kami spirits came back into focus at this time. Sumo evolved into a more controlled sport throughout the years, and in the 17th century the first professional sumo organizations arose. Sports and Shintoism A sumo battle traditionally begins with a sequence of ceremonies that can sometimes last longer than the actual wrestling contest. Ancient military tactics and Shinto religion are the roots of the ceremonies that mark the beginning of a match. A sumo match Two wrestlers must confront one another inside a ring that is roped off in order to execute a sumo battle. The platform's floor, which is composed of clay, serves as a kind of revered Shinto shrine. The wrestlers will go through their rituals before approaching one another to engage in combat. 
A wrestler must knock his opponent to the ground or push him out of the rope ring to win the match. The wrestler loses if any portion of his body other than his feet makes contact with the clay floor. In some of the quickest fights, the process of putting out an opponent may just take a few seconds. The wrestler's enormous bulk is what makes things tough. Many wrestlers weigh 150 kilograms, but some of the finest have clocked in at over 200 kilograms. A sumo wrestler's daily routine. Some sumo wrestlers are well known in Japan, particularly those who triumph in competitions and earn the title of grand champion. Nevertheless, they receive star treatment. Their daily schedules are fairly rigid. The Sumo Association has very specific rules that its wrestlers must follow. For instance, drivers are not allowed to be wrestlers. Such violations may result in penalties or suspension from wrestling. When Sumo first join the sport, they are supposed to grow their hair out and put it up in a chan mage, or top knot. In order to be recognized as a sumo, they are also given clothing that must be worn at all times when in public. A sumo's day in life. Every aspect of the day should be meticulously adhered to in sumo, and daily living is quite structured. When training, a typical day looks like this. One the first day of training for wrestlers will start at 5 a.m. Junior wrestlers carry out tasks including food preparation, cleaning, and bath preparation while senior wrestlers practice first. To the morning's training for wrestlers will resume, with a break for breakfast. However, they all take a break from training to eat a substantial lunch, which is typically a stew made of different meats and vegetables. 3. The older wrestlers get time to unwind in the afternoon while the junior wrestlers practice and do additional tasks. 4. Senior wrestlers have the option of going out with sponsors, fan clubs, or the stabla master in the evening. Junior wrestlers must remain in the training facility unless a senior wrestler requests that they join them as a manservant. How to train as a sumo Wrestlers must fulfill the required height and weight limits and have completed the nine years of compulsory schooling. The wrestler will be paired with a stable manager if the Japanese Sumo Association accepts them. This individual, can women compete in sumo? No, traditionally women are not allowed to compete in ceremonies and professional sum tournaments. Both entering and touching the sumo wrestling ring are prohibited for women. Despite this, there have always been female sumo wrestlers, especially in the beginning of the sport. There are amateur level societies of female sumo wrestlers in contemporary Japan. Facts about sumo One sumo life can be challenging, and they frequently live 20 years less than the ordinary Japanese person. Two the first sumo wrestlers were lanky and powerful. However, Modern professional sumo found that when their weight increased, they may become more difficult to move. 3. Sumo typically consume hot pot meals that are laden with noodles, vegetables, meat, and fat. 4. There can only be one foreign recruit for sumo stable.